on your car, you've got two cross-threaded lug nuts. And this occurs sometimes because you take it to a shop and the last tech that worked on it was rushing it. You might have just put the lug nut right in their end pack and just ran it in there. So now we actually have to replace the studs or the lugs or whatever they're called. Um, and the first thing we're going to do to do that is we actually have to break the old nuts off. So first you're going to get yourself a nice breaker bar and cut it. Say the first time I had to break a stud. <laughs> All right, man. Am I doing it right? Yep, keep on going and eventually it'll just snap off. What we're trying to do here is we're just literally trying to snap the lug nut off so we can remove the wheel. Boom. Right off there, huh? So take the next one off. All right, so now we got the two cross threaded lug nuts off. We're going to go ahead and jack the car up and remove the remaining three like normal. And we'll move on with this whole stud replacement process. Now you got the wheel off, um, you're going to go ahead and remove your brake caliper and brake rotor and then I'll gain access to the hub behind it. So it's usually only two bolts holding your caliper on, make sure you don't lose those. It's a bong bong foot chop, I like to call it. You gonna fight me the whole time, car? Okay, so now that you've got your caliper off, uh, the next thing you need to do is remove your rotor. And a lot of times you'll find that the rotors are uh, stuck onto the car because they're they're rusted on there, see? So what you can try doing is, you have a dead blow hammer, hammering it out. Um, another thing I like to do, at least on these Subarus, is you can use a uh, bolt, go ahead and thread it into the rotor. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna press against the hub assembly behind it and actually extract the rotor itself. So I get that, I think it's a 13 millimeter. Yeah, it just kind of pops it right off. There you go. So now you got your rotor off, but we have access to the now hub assembly. And we have three, um, these are the three cross threaded or now broken studs. You get yourself a hammer and Alrighty. He uses the other hand though. <laughs> so now you have access to the holes uh, on the hub assembly. Go ahead and insert your new studs. And once you tighten the uh, lug nuts on there, it actually pull them tight and the job's done. New studs are now slipped into there. We're gonna go and put the rotor on and then what I do is I'll just put the wheel back on so that we can tighten down the lug nuts and that'll actually press it'll press the uh, the lugs right back into the hub assembly. So once you do that, torque it to the factory torque specs. Oh, make sure you put your brake equipment back together and you're done. Hey folks, Clayton here. Help me buddy bong bong. Uh, baby's got new booties, so everything's good to go. Get back on the road, we gotta do the other side now. And uh, hopefully we don't fuck up. Yeah, all right, so we, uh, we went ahead and installed <laughs> the new lugs and lug nuts. Um, and like I said, in the future, uh, take care to make sure you don't cross thread that stuff. It's no big deal if you do, but you know, just unneeded stuff. Who knew cars had nets? <laughs> Kyle, you're an idiot. And we have three cross threaded ones. I don't know what that means, but it's okay, because I don't gotta worry about it. <laughs> this was my fault. Look at the little man go, he can really get crank, can he? Look at him. I don't know why it's gotta be so damn loud. It's almost
those two out really ratchety. It's all right. The little fella's small, he can get right in on in there. Take out these little nuts and bolts. He's gonna pop his here wheel out. Watch it. Watch, uh, watch the magic man at work. Watch him work his magic. Woo! <laughs> Good time.